Welcome back to Chronicles of a Quarantine Chef. Tonight we're going to be making our version of chicken cordon bleu. Traditionally, chicken cordon bleu is going to be a pounded chicken breast rolled up with some ham, Swiss cheese, lightly breaded, and then pan fried. For our purposes, we're going to be using an airline chicken breast. That's a little chicken breast with wings still on it. We're going to still stuff it with ham, some provolone that we have, as well as we love adding blue cheese into ours in this household. We're then going to lightly bread it in some seasoned panko, a little bit of parmesan, a little bit of seasoned salt, a little bit of parsley. Um, and then we have this beautiful pencil thin asparagus that we're going to roast in the same pan as the chicken. So we'll have another one pan wonder for you. Let's check it out. So we have our chicken that we've already cut. We're gonna grab our cheese. We're gonna grab our, add our cheese first into the slit, and then a little bit of the ham, followed by the blue cheese. The cheese is gonna kind of help act as a pocket for the uh, for the for the ham and the blue cheese. And then when we crust it in the breadcrumbs, that'll help uh, seal it up as well. We you could you could bread this in a more traditional way if you wanted to by using. Uh, both eggs, flour, and then the breadcrumbs. We're trying to stay a little bit healthier despite the fact that we're adding tons of cheese and ham into this chicken um, and wanted to just do the breadcrumbs. All right. So we have our chicken. As the cheese melts, it's gonna kind of seal this pocket as well. So I'm not terribly concerned. If I was doing this in the restaurant, as I said, I would probably do a full breading, but for home purposes, I'm just gonna get it just so it has a nice little crunchy outside outer layer. Take that piece back to our plate. Press the bread comes in, and we're ready to cook. All right, so we have our nice hot cast iron pan. Our oven's at 400 degrees. We, use, we have a pan that's big enough to easily fit both of our pieces of chicken, as well as the asparagus that we're gonna be throwing in there on top of it. Once again, we're gonna be using our avocado oil. You don't want it too, too hot. You don't want it quite smoking. Um, I have mine kind of like a medium high. You want to see just the shimmer of the oil in the pan. If it gets too hot, then you're going to burn your breadcrumbs before you actually start cooking your chicken. So because we have skin on chicken, we're going to start skin side down. Kind of press it down into the pan a little bit, make sure all these goodies are nice and tight inside the cavity that we cut earlier. All right, so we got our crispy chicken. We just we just flipped this. We've got our nice thin asparagus. We're gonna kind of add that to both sides here. A little bit of salt. We've seasoned the chicken already, so there's no need to re-season the chicken. But these carrots is just raw. Take a little knob of butter right in the center. And just to make sure that the asparagus is cooked nice and even, I'm going to drizzle just a little bit of oil on the asparagus as well. And that whole pan is going to go right into our oven. All right, so our chicken's been roasting for about 10 12 minutes. Oh, yeah. Nice and crunchy. Our asparagus is wilted and it's going to have to soak up all those juices from the chicken, the ham, the cheese. It's all coming in there. So, we've got our plates ready here.
cook the chicken to about 155, so you don't have to cook it to 170. 155 is plenty to have it cook all the way through. Uh, if you have an instant read thermometer, great. If not, uh, basically you want to kind of feel the chicken. Once it's firm to the touch, you know it's ready. So if you wanted to get really over the top right now, you got all this great stuff inside this pan. It's called the fond. You could take a little bit of white wine, add that to it, bring it up to a simmer. But we're too hungry. We just want to go ahead and eat. So here we are. Our version, the chicken quarter in blue. Stay sane, stay sated. See you next time. Thank you.